so um, this is the uh, part two of this tutorial. So what we have here, we have as our first sketch, which we have already written, we have saved it, and we have committed it several times to our repository. So you can uh, include the screen. I can type git status, and I can see that I'm a branch master, which is always going to be like this. When at least in the first part of our in this tutorial, there is nothing to commit working directory clean. Again, I'm stressing out that directory is not clean, it's clean of changes. It, there is a file over here, but there is no changes versus what we already know. What, what, what are the, uh, what the source codes kept safe in the repository? So basically, uh, what do we want to do? Now we want to look at a little bit more uh, advanced ways of how this can be used. So basically, imagine you are actually uh, changing things again. You are um, decided that you don't want to. Uh, you want also to add uh, stroke weight, uh, which is going to be random. Uh, let's say two to five, and you actually don't want the color to be. Uh, you don't want the color to be between hundred and two hundred. You just want to be at uh, a color between two hundred uh, and two hundred fifty-five, which is like. 255 is bright white and uh, 200 is something grayish. So we again are saving the file and uh, what's happening here is that we can type again git status to see what has changed. And git can see that we have modified this file. It can see that there was a change. So usually what we do, we are uh, always, uh, if we want to commit this change, we can actually um, type git, uh, git, uh, git add, first git to be, and this will add the file into the uh, staging area before actually going to go to uh, repository. But before that, I'm first going to see what were the changes. So I type git git and first git pde. Okay, that's a mistake on my side. You see, I type the, 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 the quote, so I can just type uh, Ctrl C. And once I type first Ctrl C, it just aborted the, the mistake. So uh, I type again git git and first git pd. And what you can see is again, just pay attention to this part of, uh, of this report. This is all uh, rubbish. So here we can see that I have removed one line, uh, yeah, removed line random, 100 to 200, and then two lines were added, line weight, stroke weight, and stroke uh, random. You can see that the way they give things, give things that we're removing lines and we're adding lines, and that's um, an important part, um, which we uh, like. So um, now I can just do it and I type, type git um, status again and I can see the one file is modified so I type it git add first git pd which adds to the staging area, staging area is fine, add it and then I type git commit minus m uh, and then I describe what has happened and what has happened is add pro run Oops. Um, I did, I just one button, so I uh, I did uh, come in and, and then the message will be at so That's a nice one. Again, you can see on the very bottom there is a message which says one file changed. That's true. We changed one file, meaning one file was inserted into the repository, one change in the file. And the two insertions were made, two lines were added, and one deletion, one line was deleted. And that's, uh, that's good. So again, if I type now git status, I can see that we are in branch master, there is nothing to commit, and working directory is clean. And again, the working directory is clean means there is clean of changes. Yeah. So, um, very nice. So let's try to do now a new thing. First of all, uh, let's try to add a new file. Imagine I would like to make a function called uh, row random uh, rects. 
the drawer on the Mac handle. And I want this function to be actually in the file. So I call the file Rekills. And I'm going to paste the name and I'm going to move it to the function. And basically, as it is going to be a very, very similar as this function, so random circles, I'm going to paste it. And I'm going to replace LFDL. And now I can run it and see if it's, if it's, if it's okay. And I can see that there are uh, actual rectangles. And that's pretty good. I'm going to change the color to blue of the rectangles so it's kind of easier to see them. And now you can see also I'm going to change it to green. So what I'm going to do. And then um, what I have here. So what I have done now, I have modified this file. So this is the one change. Now we have to keep track of the changes. So I've modified this file, I've added this line, and then I've added a completely new file, which is perfectly fine. Uh, usually it's good to add some kind of commentary on the top of each of your PD tabs saying this tab contains utility drawing. Uh, this is a good thing because it if you eventually end up with 20 different tabs or 7 tabs or whatever, you look at your sketch after 2 months, it's, it's way easier to understand what's going to happen. So now you can see all files are saved, I can just make sure and click save again. And now I type clear just to clear the screen, and now I type git status. And when I type git status, I have this message. First of all, it tells me as usually, the changes not spaced for commit, just basically changes. And you can see another one says untracked file. So basically these are the two different changes because Git things a little bit as well different. The things of two types of changes. Actually about three types of changes. One of them is when existing file is modified. That's what can happen. Then untracked files. In human language what it means is this and file is untracked by the repository which from our perspective simply means it's a new file. We haven't yet added it to repository before because we just made it. And then there is a third type of changes which is not visible over here, which is the file removal. When you delete a file, it's also a special type of change. But we're gonna talk about file removal a bit later and it's a actually a separate topic. So for the most frequent changes you do you're adding files or you're actually changing existing files. So all you have to do now is just you have to put them into the staging area first or put them on a stage before you can push uh, because before you can commit them to the repository. So what you do now is just type git add first git pd and then you add git add utils pd. And now two of those files are actually in, in staging area. How can you be sure? To be sure that you have the right things in the staging area, you type again git status. And you can see that what we have now here are says changes to be committed, which means changes which are on this are staged now, which are on the stage to be committed to the repository. And what happens is that it says there's a modified file, git first PDE, and there is a new file called utils PDE. So now actually if you wanted to figure out what were the differences, you can type uh, git diff utils pde or git diff first git diff pde and it doesn't show you anything because the git diff shows you files which were different um, versus differences versus what's in the staging area surprising when you put things in the staging area you, ju you don't just put um, links to the files, you just copy original files. This is an important thing to start um, keeping in mind. So what I would like to do now is actually I would like to uh, remove the files from the staging area without committing them. And this is an important task as well. What happens now is that there is no we can type it in git status. There is no changes in the directory, and those files are just in, in the staging area. So what you want to do, you want to clear out the staging area. Because, for example, you want to add those files not as a one commit, but you want to add them as two commits. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to type git reset head. Set head. 
and it says that there are a few unstaged files after reset. Basically, what we have done now, we just cleared the staging area without committing anything. So we can type git status, and again, it it shows us the same messages which were in the very beginning. Git reset had is useful when actually you have committed, uh, you sorry, when you actually have staged some files which you didn't want to stage. Um, then you just can type git reset head and this will reset the stage or the staging area. Surprisingly there is another name for staging area called index. Um, so git is a very very verbose in, term, ver verbose in terms of terminology. So now again you see that there is two files which are changed. Uh, one is changed, one is uh, untracked or new file. And again, I would like to commit them one by one, not in, and not as a one single commit. But I would like to say, for example, git add git kills pde, and now I can type git status, and I can be and I can see that well, this file is green and it says changes to be committed, and this file changes not staged for commit, not staged meaning they are not on the stage. Basically, what it means is that currently, if I'm going to be committing anything, I'm going to be committing only this file, only utils pd, and that's what I want to do because I want to commit them separately. So first, commit uh, I type git commit minus m only commit utils pd because um, this is going to add uh, function draw random rects and um, another commit and now if I if I you can see again one file changed 15 insertions 15 lines in the utils and obviously there are 15 lines and then I can type again uh, git status and after I type git status you can see that change is not staged for commit there is actually uh, still one change not stage for commit, which is just our file which we uh, need. And I can stage it again. I give add, I add to the staging area, give add first, give pde. So it's now in the staging area, and now what I can do, I just um, commit it. Well, but before I commit it, I, I always type git status to be sure that this file is in the staging area. And actually, it says changes to be committed. Meaning that and it shows it in green, which means it is in the staging area. And now I'm going to type git commit commit minus m uh, adds call to uh, draw random rect to the main tab. And now I have added, and again you can see that the report says one file change. Uh, one insertion, one line has been inserted. That's true. The only thing I have line I have inserted was uh, this line saying draw random rects and everything is um, everything is fine. I can clear the screen now and I can type git log and it's gonna show me the list of different commits and it's gonna this semicolon means that I can press space to look at the next one and then if I when it says end I actually have to press Q uh, Q button to uh, exit and then I can type again git uh, I can clear, clear the screen and I can type git log and it shows me again all the latest commits I can see that I have made the last one was add scroll to draw reference to the main tab and the one before was only commit utils pde and the one before that I added add stroke weight and changes color and again you can see if you want if, if you see this semicolon it just helps you to scroll uh, Scroll um, information if there is more than one screen of information available. So now it's end, and you can type Q. If you are, if you again, I'm going to try it again. So you, you you can be clear. Then you can type again git log, and then if you again you only want to look at the first page, you can press Q right now, and you have uh, exited uh, this screen scrolling feature. And again, I'm going to clear the screen. I'm going to type git log min log minus p which is going to give me a detailed description of every log. And now you can see that, I, that uh, the latest log, uh, the latest commit with this number and with this message, which was adds call to draw rect 
on, on the main path. Actually, what it has done, it has added this line. Perfect. And then you can see the, the next one. And the next one, and I can place space now to, show, to see the next screen. And the next uh, one shows me what were the differences uh, of the previous commit. And this commit has added this new file. So you can see that there were 10 insertions or whatever, or, or 15, 15 insertions. I've inserted 15 lines uh, into a new file. And again, if you don't want to see the list uh, completely, you can press Q, and then you can clear the screen and you can type git log minus 1, which only going to show me the last commit, or I can type git log minus 1 minus P, so it's going to show me the last, only the last one, but it's going to show me a detailed response. So, detailed response, here it is, here I type the command. And after that, you can see that I've got the changes, and you can see that I've added the line called draw random rats over here. So, um, I, and another one command as well, we can try git log minus minus one line. And now you can see that this is the list of all of my commits, uh, just in one line, and a bit, they are a bit neater. So, if you're looking for some specific one, this might help. And again, I'm typing git status because I want to see what's the status with my uh, uh, current working directory. And I can see that I'm, as usual, on branch master, nothing to commit, working directory is clean. And again, it's not the directory is clean, it's the directory is clean of changes. Not, right now in the directory there are two files, and they are exactly the same as the last files which we saved into the repository. So this is why they are... Uh, Git tells us that there is no changes because Git thinks in changes. So uh, in this second part of the tutorial, we actually managed to add new file. Uh, we managed to um, stage files with Git, uh, Git add. We managed to remove files from the staging area with the command git reset head. And then we managed to commit files one by one and look at the differences uh, at the detailed commit logs.